Safi kabisa banastaki kupoteza muda wako mwingi kwa sababu ninakanda hapa ambayo unapaswa kuweza kuitazama kisha uweze kuona hali halisi kutoka upande wa ngome yake William Samuel Ruto jinsi ambavyo wameanza kubomoa umaarufu wake aswa baada ya kuweza kuwatenga wa Kenya eh, jinsi ambavyo alikuwa amewaidi atapunguza gharama ya maisha hataweza kuomba loan hataweza kuwapandishia gharama ya maisha nataka uweze kuona jinsi ambavyo watu wameweza kuleta mapinduzi na sasa hivi William Samuel Ruto huenda akawa rais wa miaka mitano peke yake alafu ukishaona haya nitarejea tuweze kusemezana Bishop Moema pay for it I know we have our son but you know for me I don't give a damn whoever sits. If you don't fix economy, we chase you. That is me. If you don't touch on my life, I don't give a damn. Siji bishop tunaelewana hapo kidogo. You know, the problem with this country is tribalism. You want to have your own and then they don't fix issues. Then you stick to your own. When your problems come to you and take it to the bank. Come January, most children will not go to school because school fees has been hiked three times. This Christmas, very few people will eat Christmas. Alafu ukiuliza wanaambiwa ati wewe ni mkale nyamaza. Wewe ni mkale kitu gani? Ukidala jioni na watoto wako wamedala njaa ni wewe peke yako. It's not everyone. And all the petrol stations are in our work are opposition and government. If you are a sufferer, you are a sufferer. This government is worse than Uru Kenyatta government. In my own what I think. In my own view. Ama namna gani? Ama namna gani? This is a worse government. Because Uru left fuel at 104, it is 210. And you know the last time, about a week, CS Chilchil, about the Mutatuwe Pro Bomet, akatangaza, at because of the war, in... Israel and Palestine, the fuel is going up, up to 300. If it was not for the opposition and the members of press and the media houses to expose them, because many other countries were making news saying that the fuel is coming down because of the same war. As as is going, uh, as is going up for the same war. This week they were increasing to 250. Moi died and I let, it, let his soul rest in peace. But he knows Alfred Keter. Uhuru Kenyatta knows that Mimi Nuakusema Ukweli. Let me tell you something brief as I finish. In this world, make a difference in people's lives when you're still living. Because this world is too, too short to live in it. If you go hard to 110 years, you're lucky. Tunaelewana? So we don't give a damn about that you want to take our lives or you want to take whatever. Come and take it. Anything that you want. So long as we speak the truth, because the Bible says it's only the truth that is going to set us free. Asafi kwa wale hawamjui huyo kiongozi anaitwa bwana Alfred Keteri ambaye alikuwa ni mbunge wa Nandi Hills kipindi kile kuanzia mwaka 2017 mpaka mwaka 2022 na 22 lakini hakuweza kurejeshwa bungeni kwa sababu tu ya kusema ukweli kwamba William Sabiruto hata leta maendeleo na alikuwa amewahonya wananchi ila wakuweza kumsikia Uyu ni miongoni mwa wale viongozi ambao wameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kuambia wa Kenya ukweli hali halisi kuhusiana na characters zake bwana William Samuiruto kwamba aliweza kuwadanganya na hakuna maendeleo ambayo atayaleta. Umeweza kusikia mtazamaji wangu Keteri akiongea bila kutikizwa, bila kuogopa na ni wabunge wachache ama ni viongozi wachache ambao watamsomea William Samuiruto moja kwa moja uso kwa uso aswe kizingatiwa kwamba anatoka katika ngome yake bwana William Samuiruto. Unajua hata mlima Kenya hamna kiongozi ambaye ataweza kusimama aweze kusungumza. Unajua hivyo. Anyway, tafadhali chukua sekunde yako moja, uweze kupiga subscription kisha tuweze kusonga mbele mtazamaji wangu. Kisha piga subscription alafu bonyeze kengele 
utakuwa umejikatia tikiti ya moja kuweza kupokea uh, matukio yetu pindi tu tunapoyaachia hewani ningependa kuweza kujua eneo ambalo ulipo tuambie tu eneo ambalo ulipo kama ni plus 254 tujulishe mkoa wako kama ni nje ya taifa la Kenya tujulishe taifa ambalo ulipo unajua kitu ambacho kimeweza kuua hili taifa ni ukabila kitu ambacho umeweza kusikia huyu kiongozi akizungumzia ukabila umeweza kuzika taifa la Kenya unajua unakuta kwamba viongozi wazuri wapo kama kiongozi wa muungano wa Azimio moja wa Kenya Raila Odinga lakini unakuta kwamba yeye si kabila ni kut, yeye si kutoka kabila fulani ambalo liko na wingi wa kura kwa hivyo basi anatengwa umesikia huyu uh, kiongozi ambaye anaitwa Alfred ameweza kusema kwamba taifa hili la Kenya unakuta kwamba watu wanapiga kura kulingana na mtu wao yuko kule mbele lakini sasa wanasahau kwamba yule mtu wao ataenda awatenge jinsi ambavyo ameweza kutenga mama mboga jinsi ambavyo William Samiruta ameweza kutenga vijana wa boda boda hivyo basi Kenya imeweza kugubikwa na ukabila tunachagua viongozi kulingana na kabila na tunaacha wale viongozi ambao wako na maono wako na utu kuelekea kwa wa Kenya kama William Samiruta angekuwa na utu sasa hivi wa Kenya wangekuwa na lia sasa hivi wa Kenya wangekuwa na lia tusemezele tu kweli unajua huyu kiongozi vile vile ameweza kutuambia kwamba utawala ambao uko mamlakani it is the worst government compared to a uh, previous regime yake uhuru kinyata uhuru aliweza kuacha mafuta ya kiwa 160 sasa hivi tunungua 117 yani 217 kwa niradi na kama sio wanahabari kama sio viongozi wa azimio kuweza kupiga kamsa yule CS wa Akawi Energy bwana Chirichir Davis alikuwa ametangaza kwamba wako na nia ya kuongeza mafuta mpaka shilingi tatu uh, lakini sasa vi, viongozi wa azimio pamoja na wa Kenya wakapiga kelele vile walipiga kelele ikabidi serikali ikapunguza kwa sababu media iliweza kufumbua kwamba upande wa Tanzania mafuta yanaendelea kupungua lakini hapa nchini tunaongezewa mafuta kwani tulikuwa tumekosea wapi kama taifa la Kenya hmm? mtazamaji wangu unaona nataka niweze kukuelezea kitu ambacho kimeweza kufanya William Samiruto kuweza kupata kitu ambacho kinaitwa opposition kutoka ngome yake naelewa ameweza kupata opposition yani upinzani kutoka ngome yake na wala sio ngome yake yenyewe peke yake hata Kenya nzima baada ya kuweza kupigiwa kura kitu cha kwanza mtazamaji wangu ambacho kimeweza kusababisha William Samiruto kuweza kupokea opposition na kuweza kupokea kitu ambacho kinaitwa kupingwa mpaka mapinduzi sasa hivi yameanza kufanyika kutoka ngome yake ni moja ama kitu cha kwanza William Samiruto ni muongo unakubaliana kwamba mimi unakubaliana na mimi kwamba William Samiruto ni muongo kwa sababu kipindi cha kambini aliweza kuwadanganya wakenya atapunguza unga hataweza kuongeza ushuru ataweza kupatiana kazi kuelekea kwa vijana wa boda boda ataweza kupeana kazi kuelekea kwa mama mboga pamoja na kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba anawapea wa Kenya mtaji wa kufanya kazi mtaji unajua mtazamaji wangu ni ile start start amount mm, savings za kuweza kufanya maendeleo kuweza kuanzishia biashara zao amewapeza pesa ama nataka kutuambia ndio hii hasla fund ambayo ameweza kuleta ambayo limit ya watu wengi ni 500 sasa 500 utaanza biashara gani William Samuiruto ni mwongo. Uongo wake pia unadhihirika pale ambapo anasimama kwa kanisa. Anawaambia wa Kenya kwamba ameongea sijui na mataifa gani atakuwa na wachukua wa Kenya 5000 3000 every week kuelekea kwa mataifa ya kitaifa kuelekea kwa mataifa ya dunia kufanya kazi kule. Mtazamaji wangu, do you think that one is possible? Do you think that one is possible? kuchukua every week kuchukua wa Kenya 5000 kuelekea duniani kufanya kazi sio ni uongo kumaanisha kwa mwezi watu 20000 watakuwa wanatoka hapa nchini kwa mwaka watu wangapi ambao watakuwa wanatoka hapa nchini kwa miaka mitano akina nani watakuwa wamesalia hapa nchini sio ni uongo tumekubaliana vile vile na huyu mama wetu bore yuko hapa waziri wangu tumekubaliana na huyu bore ya kwamba tuna sign bilateral labor agreements ili to export labor ya Kenya kila wiki tunataka export ya labor watu 1500 ama 1500 kila wiki waende wafanye kazi 
katika duniani kote ndio waweze kutuletea pesa wajisimamie ndio tuweze kubadilisha Kenya si hata wewe umeweza kujihakikishia kisema si ni mambo yetu ambayo tunazungumza mtazamaji wangu hicho ndicho kitu hata kinafanya ameanza kupata opposition kutoka ngome yake mapinduzi yameanza kutoka kwa ngome yake ya Rift Valley Unaona sasa hivi Alfred Kiteri ameanza kupata maarufu. Unaona kitu kingine cha pili ambacho kimeweza kufanya bwana William Samuiruto kupata upinzani mkali hapa nchini pamoja na kutoka ngome yake ni kwamba William Samuiruto is tribalistic, is tribalistic, yani ni mtu ambaye ni mkabila. Ukiweza kuangalia katika serikali yake Samparata, most of the prastatals hapa nchini zinamilikiwa na nani? watu kutoka jamii yake wanafuata na nani watu kutoka jamii ya Gikuyu kwa hivyo watu wengine wameisi kwamba wameweza kutengwa katika serikali hii ya Kenya kwanza licha kwamba waliweza kupewa ahadi kwamba serikali itakuwa ya vijana wa bodaboda serikali itakuwa ya mama mboga serikali itakuwa ya waendesha bodaboda serikali itakuwa ya watu wote show me any bodaboda rider mwenye amepewa kazi katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza show me show me any mama mboga mwenye ameweza kupewa kazi katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Hmm? Kitu ni ukabila, ukabila, ukabila. Parastatols, sijui nini nini, simamia kitu fulani, yani William Samuiruto is a tribalistic leader, kitu ambacho kimeweza kufanya watu wengi kuweza kumkataa. Kitu kingine cha tatu ambacho kimeweza kufanya William Samuiruto kupata upinzani mkali hapa nchini sasa hivi jinsi ambavyo tunaongea, hamna maendeleo ambayo ameweza kuleta hapa nchini chini ya mwaka mmoja tunaelewana hamna maendeleo ambayo ameweza kuleta maendeleo ambayo tunaweza tukasema ameweza kuleta ni kununua magari ameongeza magari by the way yenye anatembelea nayo na nielewa kitu hichi cha kuleta maendeleo hapa nchini kimeweza kunichukua katika chapisho fulani ambalo nimeweza kuona a uh, Pauline Njoroge mfuasi wa Uhuru Kenyatta ameweza kupost kwamba Ruto has already borrowed and squandered 1.6 trillion loan with nothing to show for it kitu ambacho nimeweza kukuambia hamna maendeleo ambayo ameweza kuyaleta the world bank and international monetary fund have now extended an addition of 2.4 trillion bringing the total to 4 trillion yes the same ruto who accused uhuru who borrowed 6.7 trillion in 10 years of over borrowing William Samuruta alikuwa naimba huo oh, uhuru ameweza kuova boru ameleta madini mengi hapa nchini chini ya miaka kumi. lakini yeye sasa ameweza kuomba 4 trillion chini ya mwaka mmoja na nielewa if you look for uhuru 6.7 trillion you will find it near you sikiliza the mega infrastructure includes roads rail, uh, railways dams ports and other some of which Ruto has been launching in his 12 month in power Ukiweza kuangalia zile pesa ambazo Uhuru Kenyatta aliweza kuomba, utaweza kupata kuna maendeleo ya mabarabara. SGR ndio hii mtazamaji wangu ambaye aliweza kuunda dams, akaweza kuunda poti ya Mombasa, pamoja na hata project zingine za mabarabara ambazo William Samuiruta amekuwa akipita pita hapa nchini ku Pesa zingine akatumia kujenga ile meli ambayo iliweza kufunguliwa upande wa Kisumu, Uhuru tu. William Ruto ameweza kufanya nini chini ya mwaka mmoja licha kwamba aliweza kuomba 1 0.6 trillion if you look also for ruto is 1.6 trillion which has been spent so far you will find it but not near you the fuel gasless he has added in his convoy the unending useless trips overseas the money is the office of the first lady spends in sponsoring crusades state house renovation after every three months and multi million housing is cs and associates are acquiring in posh unasikia yani chini ya mwaka mmoja hii mabilioni ambayo William Samuiruta yani matrilioni ambayo William Samuiruta ameweza kuomba 1.6 hauwezi kuona maendeleo ila ameongeza magari ambayo yanamuescote kipindi ambapo anatembea pesa zingine ndio mama wa taifa anafanyia kurusedi pesa zingine ndio ameweza kuwapema waziri wake wanafanyia nini wanafanyia kitu ambacho kinaitwa wananunua manyumba pesa zingine ndizi anafanyia state house renovation anajenga na kubomoa hicho ndicho kitu ambacho nimeweza ku, ku, kuambia kwamba kitu ambacho kimemfanya uh, William Samuiruto kupata position na kuchukiwa na watu wengi ni kwamba 
hamna maendeleo ambayo ameweza kuyaleta licha kwamba anaendelea kuburu anaendelea kuomba pesa licha kwamba aliweza kuomba pesa na kipindi cha kampeni alikuwa anawaambia wa Kenya kwamba hataweza kukopa mambo yamekaa moto mambo ni moto mtazamaji wangu kitu kingine ambacho kimeweza kumfanya William Samoei Ruto kuchukiwa na watu wengi ni over taxing Kenyans na nielewe mtazamaji wangu over taxing Kenyans wa Kenya sasa hivi ikiwa imefika tu at the end of the month unakuta tu mzazi yako hivi tu mawazo ama nimedanganya watazamaji wangu nimedanganya sijadanganya unakuta kwamba mzazi mwenye alikuwa na pokeo almost 10000 per month ana taxes zinatolewa almost 6000 anaenda nyumbani na four na hizi four zenye anaenda nazo anapaswa kulipa rent anapaswa kununua chakula anafaa kulipa school fees na unaelewa sasa hivi January January wenye tunazungumza hivi school fees zimeongezwa so umesikia Alfred Kiteri akizungumza school fees zinaongezwa na unaelewa sasa hivi anaendelea kwa over tax wa Kenya kipindi ambapo mtoto mwenye anaenda kumaliza shule unaombwa pesa ndio uweze kukata ID unaombwa pesa ndio uweze kuri new ID yako kama imeweza kupotea unaombwa pesa kama we ni mkenya yuko katika rubaza za kimataifa umeweza kuoa umeweza kuoa mzungu na unarudi Kenya unaomba tu million mzungu wako na mtoto wako waweze kuwa registered kama Kenyan citizen wewe ni mkenya na bibi yako ni mkenya mkatoka hapa nchini mkaenda kujitafutia green pastures mkirudi hapa nchini mnafanya nini mnakuwa overtaxed kama mko na mtoto mnaomba 1 million kuweza kusajili yule mtoto kuwa citizen wa wakenya kitu hicho ndicho kimeweza kumfanya bwana William Samoei Ruto kuweza kuchukiwa hmm? the moment you overtax Kenyans the moment fuel prices in a rise the moment cost of living in a panda the moment vitu vingi hapa nchini vinapanda hata kipindi ambapo nilikuwa na eh, nilikuwa napita kwenye mitandao ya kijamii nimepata ndugu yetu kutoka upande wa Rift Valley analia inaonekana kwamba amepatwa na msongo wa mawazo kwa sababu gharama ya maisha imepanda kazi ya muna msikilize tusiongee mengi msikilize hapo mimi nikiwa ndani ya kilicho kulingana na vile nimekuwa nikiambia Ruto ukweli ninaona masiku zangu zimekaribia sioni nikiendelea kutoboa sasa naomba watu wa media watu wa TikTok musikose kwa msiba yangu hii ndio picha itawekwa kwa sanduku Mweza kuona hii ni depression ambayo imeweza kukamata ndugu yangu kwa sababu gani taxes kazi ya muna mnakaziwa maisha hapa nchini ni ngumu hata ameweza kusema kwamba hata jinsi ambavyo anazidi kuopos William Samoei Ruto kutoka Rift Valley anaona kwamba maisha yake yako karibu kuangamizwa kitu kingine ambacho kimeweza kumfanya William Samoei Ruto kupoteza maarufu na kuweza kupingwa na watu wengi hapa nchini ni anatumia pesa za wakenya vibaya anatumia pesa za taxes vibaya pesa ambazo ameweza kuomba kutoka rubaza za kimataifa vibaya mfano unaona anaenda trips zenye hata hazina maana sasa hivi ndio huyo Germany kesho kesho utasikia ameenda America ni dunia gani William Samoei Ruto hajatembea tangu alipoweza kuingia mamlakani ni taifa gani jua hilo taifa mbala hajatembea atakimbia kule akirudi hivi timetable yake itamwambia kuna penye tena ata, anapaswa kwe kwenda you yani spending money carelessly kitu hicho kimeweza kuwakasirisha wa Kenya ana spend money lakini hamna maendeleo ambayo ameweza kuleta mfano sasa hivi mtazamaji wangu ukiweza kuangalia bwana William Samoei Ruto ana spend pesa kwa ajili ghost workers anaunda vio ambavyo aviko kwa katiba cheo cha msalem davali hakuna kwa katiba hizo ni pesa ambazo mkenya angeekewa ruzuku unga iweze kupatikana aya unachangana hiyo si ndio hii ya CAS ya kina Millicent Omanga wanaendelea kupokea mishahara by the way akina Dennis Itumbi akina Jagwa yani spending money for nothing kimeweza kuwakasirisha wa Kenya ndio hii sakata ambayo imeweza kupatikana hapa juzi ya 17 billion ambayo inasemekana kwamba serikali 
ndio iliweza kusponsor yale mafuta ya mama Ani Njeri Njoroge kuweza kununuliwa ya kuja hapa nchini pesa ziliweza kutolewa za mlipa ushuru Do you think Mkenya atafurahishwa na kitendo hicho 16 billion zinapotea lakini gharama ya maisha iko juu unga uko juu mafuta yako juu school fees kuanzia January iko juu Do you think Mkenya atafurahia Alafu akirudi hapa nchini anaanza kunyoshea kidole cha lawama utawala uliopita Mtazamaji wangu Do you agree with Bwana Alfred Keteri kutoka upande wa Nandi Hills kwamba utawala wa Uhuru Kenyatta ulikuwa mzuri kuliko utawala wa Bwana William Samoei Ruto? Do you agree? Unakubaliana na hiyo mawa au unakubaliana na hayo mawazo ya Alfred Keteri? Kama unayokubaliana, sema nasi na rejea na mingi tena zaidi. Jina langu nafahamika kama Mr. Eagle 8. Ningependa mtazamaji wangu kuweza kupata mawazo yako. Wewe unaona ni kitu gani ambacho kimeweza kufanya? baka mapinduzi ya maarufu yameanza kuonekana katika upande wa Rift Valley ngome yake William Samoei Ruto. Sema nasi na rejea na mingi tena zaidi tupatane kwa kanda ijayo.